go. All right. So today I am joined by Randy Judah and Jeremy Brooks of Brand G Vacations. How are you both doing today? Really We're good. Doing well. Thank you. Thank you. Good, of course. So for those who are not familiar, can you tell us more about what Brand G Vacations is and what the company company has to offer? Jeremy? Yeah, Brand G Vacations is an LGBT plus uh, luxury travel company specializing in river cruises, uh, land tours, and as of last year, some small ocean vessels as well. Okay, nice. So this is not a company you began, right? You just got involved with it? Yes. Correct. I just started full-time in February and Randy joined in a part-time role just a couple months ago uh, okay. of this year, 2024. So yeah, owners and founders, uh, Brian Van Way and Jeff Gunvalson got this thing launched. Yeah, they started the company in 2011 mm -hmm. and I started working with them with another travel company okay. back in 2005 and always loved and admired Jeff and Brian. And when they started this company in 2011, I said, at some point, you're going to need someone like me. So <laughs> keep in mind. And I uh, kept after them and wouldn't let them forget about me and uh, uh, have watched their progress and, and seen how well they've done with the company. And uh, so, yeah, I've been, been helping them in some capacity since COVID. Okay. And uh, then when a full-time job came up in February, Jeremy applied. And I've always told them that I've wanted a part-time position with them mm -hmm. but I couldn't run with them full-time and uh, so they created that for me in May. Awesome. So what exactly are your roles with Brand G Vacations? Jeremy? Yeah, I'll start. They hired me as really a a do it a do it most, not quite a do it all. Jeff and Brian still handle most of the trip curation and uh, communications with our vendors and developing new trips for us. And uh, the rest of us in the office, including myself, handle all of the uh, customer interaction from phone calls and emails mm -hmm. uh, and uh, trip sales to data entry. So collecting uh, guest information for our trips to make sure that we've got everything from them to, uh, to ensure they have a good time. Mm -hmm. And uh, everything from website maintenance, updating trips, adding new trips to the website, and on the back end on the reservation side as well, creating the new trips and pricing and all that stuff. So, uh, and then of course the, the cherry on top is the trip hosting, getting to go out on these wonderful trips and spend time with, with the guests. Nice, nice. What Jeremy doesn't say is that for a company that does as much, as many trips as they do, they have a pretty small staff. Okay. Uh, so they brought me on in May to kind of take off the table some of those things that I could handle for them and free up time for Jeremy and uh, and the others to do some of the more complicated, uh, more of the more complicated work. Okay, okay, nice. So why should one check out Brand G Vacations and how would you say they differ from other queer travel companies? You take that one. Sure. Um, <laughs> why should they check out this company? This company does things so well. Uh, when when they started the company in 2011, I started following them on social media, mm -hmm. and was just amazed constantly how how far I had to look before I found a negative comment. Mm -hmm. uh, people love what they do. Uh, it's a company that really holds the hands of their clients and uh, really tries to guarantee that they have a wonderful time. Uh, they they take all the planning off the table for, for our guests. Mm -hmm. And uh, it becomes the type of thing that when you fly to the destination where the trip starts, uh, we meet you at the airport. Okay. And until we take you back to the airport at the end of the trip, we are doing everything for you. Mm -hmm. So it's, uh, it's luxury. Uh, we we put our guests on beautiful river boats and beautiful cruises. We go to amazing destinations. We hire some of the best guides in those parts of the world that you'll find anywhere. Uh, I use Peru as an example. Uh, we have a couple guides down there who you'll see interviewed in National Geographic. Okay. And uh, so we surround ourselves with the best in the business mm. who help us look good. Yeah, perfect, perfect. Do you think COVID, um, or do you think travel is kind of coming back from the experiences of COVID? Because COVID put a big damper on travel. Do you think we are kind of rebuilding that? 
Definitely. Yeah. I think people, I don't know, I get the feeling that they're trying to make up for lost time. And mm -hmm. just because COVID happened doesn't mean that uh, bucket list destinations uh, dropped off people's radars. And so uh, they're still trying to uh, get to those spots and those destinations. And um, yeah, you know, a lot of our trips uh, at Brand G um, this year have, have sold out. And uh, most of our land tours are smaller vacations next year are already sold out. Uh, so yeah, we've got some some of the ocean vessels, the 200 passenger cruises that we do that uh, still have some space and we're, we're trying to get those filled. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I think the demand is definitely there. And uh, if anything, people have come back even stronger wanting to travel, just knowing that it's uh, not a given and mm -hmm. that it could be taken away from us uh, at any moment again. So you heard me say earlier that I don't hear many complaints about uh, or from our guests. And that is one of the complaints that Jeremy kind of uh, skirted around there is the complaint that our trips sell out too soon. Out too soon. <laughs> so we, uh, many of our trips are for as few as 20 people. Oh, okay. Uh, the, so small large, yeah. The larger uh, ocean going vessels will accommodate up to 200. Mm -hmm. Those don't, don't sell out quite as quickly, but our smaller trips uh, smell. <laughs> Sell out. They smell out. They, smell. <laughs> they sniff them out. <laughs> uh, they sell out really quickly to usually a majority of people who've traveled with us before. Okay. Okay. So what are some of the uh, trips, upcoming trips that uh, Brangie is doing? And like how far in advance are they planned? Yeah. So our furthest trip out is uh, beginning of 2026. Okay. And uh I believe that's a, a Vietnam and Cambodia trip. Actually, we've got a, a, a Colombia trip as well in 2026 that is uh, on the schedule already. And the Vietnam-Cambodia trip is already sold out for 2026. Yeah. <laughs> and we're just getting ready to release the rest of our trips for 2026. Mm -hmm. uh, they'll be released uh, within the next 60 or 90 days, uh, or by the end of November. Yeah, yeah. I would say by, by the end of the year, the 2026 schedule will be mostly out. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, so that's about as far as we go out. I mean, trips uh, upcoming. Um, we yeah. just found out that we'll be going to Cuba twice next uh, next year in January and February to the, help host those trips. The so we're first and third that. trip of next year. Yep. And uh, yeah, cruises that we still have space on. I mean, are are the ones that are you know, important right now, I guess. And uh, yeah, we're doing a cruise out of Antwerp. Uh, that covers, you know, Belgium, mm. uh, England, Ireland, and Scotland, and uh, another cruise leaving out of Dublin that, uh, you know, leaves Dublin and cruises down the coast of France and uh, Spain, northern France and Spain, and uh, ends in Lisbon. And uh, we've got Australia, we've got New Zealand, we've got the Galapagos Islands, nice. Galapagos Islands, still uh, has Greenland space. and Iceland, <laughs> starting in Norway, actually. Uh, those are all things for next year. Plus, okay. there's quite a few that we haven't mentioned. We have 25 trips in nice. 2020. Okay, and so uh, you're, all, you're all around the world. Yeah, and two in Africa. Mm -hmm. uh, one with the uh, extension to go see the gorillas nice. in Rwanda, uh, which is just going to be amazing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. So you're right. Yeah, it's all over the world. Yeah, definitely. So have you, too, always had a, this passion for traveling? <sighs> Yeah, I would say so. <laughs> I, I, I grew up a poor kid in Kansas and never thought I'd leave the state. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was the first in my family to go to college and started venturing out a little bit from there. And then I was a singer on a cruise ship back in 1989, which just so happens to be the year that Jeremy was born. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, uh, when I was on that cruise ship, uh, there was a gay and lesbian travel company that chartered our entire ship for a week. Mm -hmm. And that's when I was introduced to gay and lesbian travel and uh, didn't know that it existed. It was the first company that started uh, back in 1985. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just kind of became hooked and uh, started doing some work for them. And that's how I met Jeff and Brian. Awesome. Very nice. So you two have been a couple for 12 years now. Is that correct? 12 years. Oh, my God. <laughs> so how did you two initially meet? Uh, That's you. I, I, this isn't my favorite question. Uh, we <laughs> met. We became acquainted online. 
Okay. And, and uh, then we met and started spending time together. And I remember thinking at the time, gee, what a nice guy Jeremy is. I wish he was older. And of course, Jeremy was thinking, gee, what a nice guy Randy is. I wish he was older. Uh, but, uh, okay, <laughs> not really. <laughs> but, uh, um, we just realized that we had a good thing going on and that age didn't really make a difference. And that was 12 years ago. We've lived together 10 years now. We've been in a domestic partnership for almost eight years. And um, three or four years ago, Jeremy proposed to me on the top of Huayna Picchu, Machu Picchu. Nice, nice. That's in Peru, right? Yes. Okay. So would you say Peru is your favorite vacation spot then? It, it has been my favorite trip so, so far. Yes. So far, it's my favorite as well. Okay, awesome. Very nice. And now you two are based in Denver. Is that correct? That's correct. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what brought you to the Mile High City and what does what made you decide to make that your home? You got here first. Yeah, I I worked as an actor singer for 20 years and I was on a tour with a musical theater production that stopped in Aspen. Okay. I fell in love with Aspen and uh, someone said, oh, you should audition for our little dinner theater here. And I thought there's no way in hell I could afford to live in Aspen. This was back in the mid eighties, but uh, curiosity got the best of me. I did audition for them and was hired and lived in Aspen for 10 years mm -hmm. and uh, knew at that point that I wanted Colorado to be my home base, mm -hmm. even though I did travel a lot with performance work. And then Jeremy. Yeah. I moved up here in 2010 to finish college nice. and, uh, you know, grew up in Phoenix, Arizona and, uh, once I got a taste of the climate and lifestyle up here, I, I had no uh, no need to go back to that desert heat after spending my first 20 years there. It was, uh, yeah, it was a nice change of climate, having four seasons. I've never seen, like, leaves. Mm -hmm. Well, I didn't have leaves, really, let alone did they change color in Phoenix. So, mm -hmm. uh, Where are you from, Denny? So I live in the St. Louis area. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm right across the river in Illinois. Sure. Yep. Edwardsville? Uh, no, Granite City. Okay. Yeah. Have you been to Denver? Have I been to what? Denver? Yes, many times, actually. Um, are you familiar with Outfront Magazine? There are LGBT sure. publications. Yeah. I'm just, I was the celebrity correspondent for that publication from 2016 up to last year. Yeah, I know uh, Jerry, the owner. Yeah, Jerry. Yep. Yep. So uh, I um, work with Addison and Maggie. And so Instinct is one, one of three publications I write for. So I'm currently on hiatus way out front at the moment, but I still stay in touch with the staff. And I'm actually going to be in Denver at the end of September. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, if there's a chance, we'd love to meet you. Yeah, I'd love to meet you as well. Definitely. And you're also going to be hosting a Brangy uh, vacation event in Denver soon. Is that correct? Yeah, we're still talking about it, uh, you know, trying to figure out what time works for all the staff to get together in between uh, trips and and planning trips and all that stuff. So we're still trying to lock down a date. But uh, yeah, Brian and Jeff have expressed interest in it's, putting it's, together yeah. a whole event. It's a wonderful thing that Brand G does is they throw some big parties uh, around the country for mm -hmm. their guests and they invite their guests to bring friends who might be interested in Brangy in the future. It's not a sales event. It's a social event that, uh, that Brangy puts on and they cater it and uh, there's an open bar. And uh, yeah, we talk a little bit about the company to give those newbies an idea of what we're about, but it is not a sales event in any way at all. Okay. It's a, a social get together and they've turned out to be really wonderful and uh, have we've met some wonderful new clients that way as well. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Well, how can one stay up to date with Brand G Vacations? Yeah, I mean, there's there's several ways you can, uh, you know, follow us on Facebook, uh, Instagram. Um, you can join our mailing list. Uh, it, uh, you know, you can either just call us or go to our website to to join the, the mailing list and you'll hear about all of our new trip announcements, um, any special deals that we're offering. Uh, you know, availability on the trips that we have upcoming. So, and what would that website be, Jeremy? <laughs> that website would be brandgvacations.com. <laughs> Perfect. Then, before we wrap up, um, is there anything else you'd like to mention or plug at this time? Mention or plug? Gosh, uh, no, you've, you've asked us some great questions. And thank you. It, it, 
you know, I just can't stress enough how much I love the company and love the people who are a part of it. Uh, as I said, it's a really small staff and uh, we don't ha have the opportunity very often for all of us to, to be together at the same time mm -hmm. uh, because two of us might be off doing one trip and two might be off doing another trip. And uh, so last year we had an event, uh, one of the parties mm -hmm. in Palm Springs, California, where a lot of our guests live. And uh, we were all able to be there for that. And it was, it was so wonderful to uh, have us all together and to be able to relax and, and tell stories and laugh and just enjoy each other because we really don't get that opportunity. Yeah, definitely. I just to say if you're looking for a uh, all LGBT plus chartered uh, river cruise or ocean cruise on a smaller scale, uh, with 200 passengers or less in 2025, uh, check out brandgvacations.com. There are a lot of companies now that do gay and lesbian travel, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, some of them on a much, much bigger scale than we do. You know, they're chartering the big, big ships, you know, up to 500, almost 6,000, uh, not 500, five, five to 6,000 people. Mm -hmm. And uh, that can be a little daunting and a little mm -hmm. overwhelming. Mm -hmm. And uh, what we do and we do so well is put together small groups who suddenly become family with each other and travel together again and again and again. And uh, the reason they do that is because we do it well. Yeah. Yeah. You gain their trust and it's more intimate that way. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Fantastic.